Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to La Dome Style. about modeling schools. A lot of people have questions about modeling schools. How much do they cost? Where are they located? Do you get paid? What to expect when you start the modeling school? How long is the term? How long is the course? Oh, and we can't forget, are they a scam? Are they legit? That's usually the number one question when it comes to modeling schools. Do you really need a modeling school to become a model? So let's get into it by stating what is a modeling school? A modeling school is not a modeling agency. A modeling agency, your agent is going to be booking you jobs and networking with clients. That is what they are focused on. A modeling school is focused on anyone getting accepted and enhancing their talent. What I mean by enhancing their talent is if you're into singing, acting, dancing, modeling, they're going to take you as a whole and they're going to make you better at posing, at runway walking, at theater acting, at reading monologues, at singing, um, enhancing your voice, dancing, how to be more limbo, how to move better. That is what a modeling school does. They enhance your talent and your confidence. They make you feel good about yourself. They put you in front of a crowd of people. Now these are not people who pay to see you, but these are other students. These are your peers. So you all are going to be performing and practicing in front of each other. And doing that is going to make you feel more confident when it comes to actually auditioning and casting for whatever type of talent or entertainment that you want to get into. A few modeling schools that you may or may not be aware of are Barbara Zone, John Casablanca's, the Schuyler Modeling School, as well as the Bella Modeling School. Now the Bella Modeling School is actually in Dallas and the Schuyler Modeling School is in New York City. Modeling schools have been established for many, many years. They are not schools that just popped up in the 90s. So Bella Modeling School has been around since about 1939 or sometime in the early 40s. And John Casablanca's I know has been up since like the 80s. And John actually was an agent for elite models, I do believe, before he and another partner started John Casablanca's modeling school. As far as Barbazone, I know that in the beginning, they used to give out $10,000 scholarships to students. I don't know how many students it was, but they used to give out $10,000 scholarships to students to go to school. So modeling schools were a little different back then. Now things have changed just because because management has been changed and marketing has been changed and development in the industry has changed. So now instead of focusing on actually getting the model signed, modeling schools focus on enhancing your talent and skills like I stated before. So what does a modeling school offer? Well, they have workshops. The modeling schools offer personal development curriculum such as essential interviewing skills, voice skills, poise and posture, nutrition and exercise, building your resume, etiquette, self-confidence, and development. Modeling schools are going to teach you about industry expectations. A lot of you all have questions such as, how do you go from the development board to the main board at a modeling agency? If I'm a commercial model, can I do runway modeling as well? How do I become an international model while signed to my New York agency or signed to my agency in Alabama? You also want to know questions like, how do I have a better diet plan? Or how do I exercise as a model? Or how do I put on makeup? How do I dress for my castings, my auditions? If I am modeling commercial, how do I prepare for an audition? How do I read a monologue? Or if you're doing runway, how do I become an editorial model? There are so many questions that everyone wants to know when they're becoming a model. And that's what a modeling school is going to do. They're going to teach you that during your workshops. Now, when you go to a workshop, you're going to be in groups. So don't worry, you're not going to be by yourself. And being in groups is really helpful because it does help boost your confidence because you network and you make friends with other people. And when you make friends with other people, 
in your group, you become more relaxed and reading a monologue or doing a runway is just so much fun or so much greater. You can make little side comments or jokes or you all can just pass around modeling tips or what helps you as far as your runway walk or how to pose. Doing things one-on-one -on -one with an agent can be a little intimidating, especially if you don't know anything about the industry. So being alongside your peers always makes the time a lot better, runs smoother, and like I said, you make friends and you joke and you just have a really good time. During your workshop, you're also going to be learning about the different types of modeling because as you all know, there's not just one type of modeling, right? Not everyone can be an editorial model. Not everyone is 5'9 with long limbs and everything else that an editorial model has. A lot of people are of average height. That's commercial modeling. Then there's promotional modeling. There's lingerie modeling. There's swimwear, which is so popular in Miami. There's so many different types of modeling. There's fitness modeling, there's parts modeling where you're just showing your hands, your feet, or your hair. Think of something like um, hair product commercials when the models just have really gorgeous hair. It's not really about their body from head to toe, it's about their hair. Or nail polish commercials that just show a woman's nails. Or maybe think of DSW, their advertisement, when they only show their feet or the shoes. There's so many different types of modeling that's pretty much for everyone. The modeling schools are really going to go in depth and they're going to teach you about that and they're really going to tell you like what type of modeling is best for you. So to get into the industry, you want to be the model that you best represent. And then once you get your foot into the industry, when you get that engagement from brands and from consumers and you become popular on social media or in the industry because of your talent, then you can switch to another type of modeling. I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes people just have to know you and know your name. Where are modeling schools located? They're not only located in large markets like New York and LA and Miami, but Atlanta, Alabama, Ohio, pretty much every state has modeling schools. I know Barbizon, if you are interested in them, they're located in all 50 states. And not only are they located within the state, but they have a lot of schools within cities within the state as well. So in order to start taking classes at modeling schools, you can either get scouted, which a lot of people do. And the number one way they do that is they usually come up to people at malls. They don't really go to too many events like modeling agencies do. And they'll either come up to you or they'll have a table set up and they'll say Barbizon Modeling or John Casablancas or whatever the modeling school is called and they'll have a sign up sheet where you just put your name and your phone number and then they'll end up calling you pretty much by like the end of the week. Now you can also go on the website and sign up and do the same thing. Put your contact information and someone will contact you. Now you may be wondering can anyone sign up to a modeling school? Is it hard to get in? Can I get in if I have braces, if I have acne, if I have blemishes, if I'm a petite model? Yes, you can because at a modeling school, they're not judging you by your looks, your height, your weight, your body measurements, or anything of that matter. They're not worried about are you marketable right now for the modeling industry? They're just worried about enhancing your talent and your skills and making you a better singer or model or dancer or actor. So everyone is accepted to the modeling school. What they want to know when they talk to you on the phone is how bad do you want to become a model? Because that also leads to are you financially able to pay to become a model, to model at this school, to take courses, to better yourself, to learn casting, audition tips, and so much more. So be prepared for the financial talk that they're going to be asking you about when you talk to them over the phone. To get a ballpark figure of the price of modeling schools, it is $2,808. Know that the course length is typically about six months. You get a lifetime of free classes afterwards. That means that once you graduate from the modeling school, you can come back at any time, at any age, and you can take 
acting classes, you can take runway classes, you can take singing classes. Now the thing with that is modeling schools, they may not enhance that pose. They may teach you poses from like what models used to do back in like 2005 or 2013. They don't really stay up to date as much like you would get if you were signed to a modeling agency. Your agent is constantly telling you how to pose, um, etiquette and things of that nature. So it's kind of like the basics. When you go to New York for fashion week, you need to know more than the basics. You have to have your own style. You have to walk like how the clients want you to walk. And the best way to learn that is to sign with an agency or to do it independently and continue to go to castings and to go to open calls. So yes, the Miley School offers a lifetime guarantee of you coming back, but it's like you're gonna be learning at the same entry level that you learned in the beginning. A good thing about the Miley Schools is that they do let you break up the payments and they put you on a payment plan. Now in order to attend the school and go to the classes on the days that you're scheduled to go, you do have to make sure that you pay on the days that the payment is due. So you can't just have like a negative account or you missed payment and you want to attend your class. It can't happen that way. You have to pay on the day or before the day that the payment is due. And it's really good to do that because you can stay with your group. So if you miss a class, you have to wait and take the class again but when you take the class again you're taking it with another group and you kind of lose your friends I mean not forever but you're just not going to be in the group with them because they've moved on and they're taking their classes accordingly while you're a class or two or so behind so make sure you get your money's worth make sure that you're able to afford this and so you definitely want to make sure that you take this serious for $2,800 you're wondering there better be more than just you teaching me confidence and life skills and you know how to walk and how to pose a lot of models have stated that they've received gift bags of makeup eyeliner you get headshots portfolio building resume building and whatever else that they entail modeling school they do do imat and imat is a way of models to be scouted by many agents from all over the state so that's agents from new york la chicago miami as well as dallas and atlanta and just alabama and so many other places Places that there are model scouts. Model scouts don't always have to be located in a high market. They can be located in Ohio or in Atlanta. As long as they have connections with top modeling agencies, then you're good to go. So that is what the contract states is that you can attend the showcase. The only thing about that is that you have to pay. A lot of models have stated that they had to pay an extra $100 or so to showcase their talent. So just know that you paying the $2,800 isn't going to be it. You also have to pay to go to the showcase as well. You're always paying out of pocket. So really think about going to a modeling school? Is it something that you really want to do? Now that you have successfully signed up to the modeling school, what happens next? You're going to get a phone call from an agent and they're going to schedule a Zoom call or you can do an in-person meeting. So as far as a Zoom call, you're gonna get on the call, there are gonna be other people on the Zoom call. Yes, there are gonna be other people who are excited about becoming a model. You're gonna have your mics muted so no one's gonna be talking, there's no distraction, and you're gonna watch a little intro video. You're gonna watch an intro video together of testimonials in Barbazon or John Casablanca's or Skylar, Mo whatever modeling school it is, you're gonna watch the testimonies from the former models and they're gonna to talk to you about their experience, they're gonna to talk to you about how they landed jobs, commercials, they're in magazines, they're gonna to talk to you about development and they're just gonna show you pretty much like around the school or the location that they're at, which is typically New York or LA, but I just want you to get a feel of what the school looks like. They're gonna show Zoom class, classes, of people doing their monologues, of people um, walking the runway, of everyone practicing how to pose because they want to get you excited. They want to get you excited and in the mood to become a model and also it really just puts you at ease when it comes to spending $2,800. You get to see the behind the scenes and you get to see other models doing what you want to do and you hear the testimonials from the alumni. So you feel a lot better about spending that $2,800. Now, whether it's worth it or not, whether you're going to get that same chance or not, that's up in the air. It's kind of like if you have darts and you throw them all at the board, at least 10 of those darts are going to stick out of 100 or 1,000. So that's kind of how it is at a modeling school. When models sign up, 
if there's 10,000 models who sign up to a modeling school, the probability of someone actually becoming a model and being famous is about 10%. So once that is over, you're going to do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the agent. You and the agent are going to talk to each other. They're going to ask you background questions. They're going to definitely ask you who supports you financially. They want to know that that's very important because it's $2,800. They want to know who's going to be paying for these classes. So they're going to ask you that question. They're going to ask you to tell them about yourself. You know, why do you want to become a model? What do you want to do? How far do you want to go into the industry? What do you already know? What hobbies do you have? Also expect to show your social media. They really want to see what makes you unique. They want to see what they're working with. They want to see your personality. So if you have a YouTube or a TikTok or an Instagram, that's really good. But if you don't, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if you pay your money, you get accepted. So after you have your one-on-one -on -one meeting, they're going to excuse themselves and they're going to make a decision on whether they want you to go to the modeling school or if they're going to pass on you. Just know that they're going to come back and say, you've been accepted. Uh, we believe that we can enhance your talent, your skills. We want to teach you more social skills and boost your confidence. So you will get accepted as long as you pay that $2,800. And like I stated, they do give you payment plan options. So if that's something that you want, just know that you will automatically get accepted. So don't be nervous when it comes to your one-on-one -on -one meeting. An alternative to the Zoom meeting is an in-person meeting. So you'll show your runway walk, you'll talk about your background, why you want to become a model, show your social media content, and you'll have a monologue script commercial script that you'll do. So when the agent first calls you and sets up the meeting, they're going to tell you to prepare a commercial script. When you're in the car and the radio's on and you hear commercials for like fast food or clothing or what have you, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing. All they're asking is for a 30 second commercial scripted monologue and that's it. The meeting shouldn't last no more than an hour. Don't be intimidated. Don't be nervous because when you want to sign to a top agency or boutique agency, or if you want to get scouted by an agent, you're going to have to have that one-on-one -on -one interview. They're, they're going to ask you to do your runway walk. I've been in New York, LA, Miami, Chicago. It never fails. I want to do commercial or editorial modeling. They still want to see my runway walk. They don't ask about posing, but they do ask about your walk and they do ask about your background. So don't be nervous to talk to them. You don't have to be, you know, super hyper and giggly and have this broad, personality just answer the questions that they ask after your meeting whether that's a zoom call or an in-person call you have to put down a down payment of anywhere between 500 to 600 dollars once you do that you can start your courses they have rules they have regulations they have a code so we're going to start with appearance as far as your appearance it has to be like fashion casual so i don't want to say business casual because you don't have to have a pencil skirt if you're a guy you don't have to wear a tie but you do have to wear dress shoes or if you're a female you do have to wear heels black is fine you can do black jeans black t-shirt v-neck but just no graphic tees or jeans or jeans that have holes in it nothing distressed no yeezys no air forces no tims none of that so if you're a woman if you're a female if you're a girl then you have to wear heels and if you're a guy you have to wear dress shoes now as far as hair, some modeling schools recommend that you wear your hair in its natural state. Now that's not crazy, but just know that fashion is just so much broader than it used to be in the 80s and the 70s and so forth. Like we have box braids, we have cornrows, we have different color hair. There's models with blonde hair, bleached eyebrows, no eyebrows, and things of that nature. And I know they are just enhancing your talent, but it's like if that's you and you know your trait and your your character you're gonna have to tone it down. You're gonna have to tone it down. They don't want any hair color, no blue hair, no green hair. I've even heard they don't want any box braids, any corn rolls. So you're gonna have to tone it down and go to your natural self. So just, you know, keep that in mind when it comes to a modeling school. During the interview process, I would ask them about that. That's something to think about. Also with nails, no acrylics, no long nails, no jewelry, none of that. Another code of conduct that they have is your makeup. They want you to be natural. You can wear, you know, like a tinted moisturizer. You can wear a blush. You can wear lip gloss, mascara, a little bit of eyeliner, but nothing too crazy. 
don't go in there with blue eyeshadow and rosy red cheeks and a hard contour they don't want any of that just blush tinted moisturizer or like a light foundation mascara lip gloss just the basic and the bare minimum what else you can expect during your class session are photo shoots. So you will be in groups like I stated and you'll be doing photo shoots. Some will be one on one and then most of them will be in groups and you can really pick a partner and just do a photo shoot together. There's going to be a photographer and you're going to be posing together and you know you're going to have like a studio. You'll have the whole setup. And like I said, this modeling school is just to get you comfortable and confident with actually doing a photo shoot. This isn't like a real photo shoot. I mean, you get the images hopefully some have stated they didn't get the images back but you get the images and i don't believe they're up to par with like a top agency but like i said it's just getting you you know in the realm and getting you you know acclimated and comfortable with shooting in front of a photographer and shooting with people on set because when you sign to a top agency that's going to happen there's going to be people on set there's going to be makeup artists stylists hair um the photographer you know other in-house people that are helping and when the photo you start some people are going to take a look and they're going to be watching you and they're going to be you know they're going to be hyping you up and you know saying good positive affirmations to you and you're going to have to learn how to deal with that and learn how to cope with that and learn how to stay focused and to keep modeling and to keep posing other things to look forward to are acting portions you're going to do that in groups uh, they're going to teach you more how to pose techniques such as how to hold your head up body angles, symmetry, keep your hands visible. They're gonna tell you like for runway techniques, how to hold your head up high. They're gonna have you do the L where you put your top finger under your chin and then your thumb like to your chest and that's pretty much how high your head should be. They're gonna tell you as far as photo shoot, how to angle your face to do more of like a profile view, uh, not always to look at the camera. You're also gonna have a food diary. Now in your food diary, you'll have to record your breakfast, your dinner, your lunch, pretty much everything that you ate on the weekend. They want to know, they want to see, they want to make sure that you're eating healthy, that you're incorporating healthy things in your meals. Of course, of course, you know, you can make up stuff that you had vegetables when you didn't, but please don't do that because honestly, this is really helpful. If you are someone who does have bad eating habits, writing it down and really seeing what you're truly eating may be able to help you eat better. And when you're in the modeling industry, you have to eat a lot healthier. You see on YouTube, you see on TV or on TikTok models eating healthier because healthy foods, whole foods have nutrients in it, have vitamins in it, and that's what helps make your skin clear, make your skin glow, give you bowel movements and you know really helps with like height and growth and especially if you're someone who's still growing like guys they grow up until like 18 and girls they keep growing to 23 and it's like if you're still in your development stages eating healthy really does help with everything overall your hair your health your nails your moods so just assure that you are writing everything down in your food diary and try to make some alterations if you need to in addition to a food diary you're going to be doing body measurements just to assure that you are of the measurements for the type of model you want to do so for editorial then you have to be certain measurements for commercial like I said it's more limbo you're relatable you can have average measurements you don't have to be a size zero or two you can be a six you can be an eight um, they just want to make sure that your measurements are up to par and pretty much just do like a before and after so you can see what you measured at before you came and that's as far as height as well and then they'll remeasure you again and then tell you what you are at the end when you graduate so your new height if you grew if you dated it um, your waist your hips and things of that nature other things you'll be doing is creating boards kind of like a mood board or like what you want to do in the future after graduation so that's like aspirations future goals and plans I want to sign to this modeling agency I believe I can sign to this agency because you know at the modeling school I learned this this and that so I just want you to go away with something that you can look at every day when you wake up in the morning or at the end of your day and to keep you motivated to becoming a model because like I said it's a school not an agency so they are not the ones that's going to be telling you to go to casting calls and open calls and finding new jobs you're going to be doing that yourself so what this inspiration board is just
just going to probe and push you to actually becoming a model after you graduate. Other things to look forward to, acting homework, you get graded on that. So they will send you home with a monologue or they'll have you make up a monologue. You'll come back in groups. You'll perform that around each other. You will get graded. You will get critiqued. Don't be nervous. That's modeling in general, whether you're assigned to a top talent agency or you know, if you're doing your runway at the modeling school, they will critique you and they'll do that at a modeling agency as well. So you'll be critiqued anywhere you go. I'd rather be critiqued at a modeling school or by my agent rather than a client because it's like you want to make the best impression, you know, for the client and for them to critique your walk. I would just rather that come from my agent or my modeling teacher or at my modeling school and then enhance that at home or whenever you have free time. So when you do go to castings and you do go to like New York Fashion Week tryouts and things of that nature or Paris Fashion Week or whatever country or city or state you're in, then you are prepared and you know what to do. At some modeling schools, either in the beginning or at graduation, they will provide you with goodies and it'll be like a modeling bag with the school's name on it so just think of like Barbizon modeling school they'll have that on the bag and you're just not leaving empty-handed with just knowledge but you do get a tangible item or two or three. In conclusion are modeling schools legit or scams? Now modeling schools have agents who pretty much work off of commission. So every person that they get to sign up to go to the modeling school, they do get a portion of that payment. So say like, you know, it costs $2,800 like we stated, then they may get $280 or they may get $500 or what have you. So their intention is not so much for you to actually become a model or to become an actor, but for them to make that commission. And so when it comes to how they word do you want to become a model? Do you want to be successful? And they get you hyped and they tell you that at the end of the course, you can expect to get signed to a modeling agency, but they don't tell you that they don't do it. So the words and the phrases and how they use things a lot of times makes the person who wants to go to the modeling school or the parent, it makes them think that their child has a guarantee to getting signed to a modeling agency, but that's not true. The child or the teenager, or if it's you and you're an adult and you sign to a modeling school, you have a guarantee on enhancing your life skills, your interview skills, your resume, public speaking, your confidence, how to walk the runway, how to pose. There's a guarantee on that because that's what the workshops include, but there's no guarantee that you're gonna sign to an agency because they don't do that. They don't do the scouting. They don't reach out to clients. They won't reach out to New York agencies and things of that nature. That's what you have to do on your own. And that's what a lot of people don't know or don't think about because the agent who is soliciting, the agent who is trying to get you to sign up is not gonna say that. They're not gonna be honest and they're not gonna be the realest about that. So that's where the complaints come in at. There's lots of complaints on Google. You can read the BBB website, Better Business Bureau. There's reviews on lots of manga schools. Just pretty much in Google type in the modeling school you're interested in and then put scam at the end and just like so many reviews sadly 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 are going to come up assure that you are financially stable and able to be able to go to a modeling school if that's what you want to do again to become a model you do not have to go to a modeling school I didn't go to a school. I remember that there was like a modeling workshop or school in a mall in my local city. And a lot of people at my school, a lot of girls, they went to that modeling school and they got the t-shirts and they were able to walk the runway, but it wasn't like a real fashion show. They were just walking the runway for people in the mall and it did help with their confidence and it did help with their skills. But after that, they, they didn't do anything else. And for me, I became an independent model so the first thing I did was contact a photographer in my local area and I started building my portfolio from there I started to attain 
casting calls, open calls. You don't have to have a large portfolio book to start going to casting calls in your area. And I just began to build and to build and to read online and, you know, contact mentors and things of that nature. So you don't have to go to a modeling school to become a model. If you need help, always comment down below or you can go to my website, you can email me or what have you, but just know that you don't have to go to a modeling school. But if you want to, of course, that is your choice. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can always be notified when I release a new video. And with that being said, I'll talk to you all next time.